Hey there, my name is Gabe, I'm with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a really easy automation so that you can send an email or a series of emails to your client just by changing the status of their loop. For example, if you change the loop status to under contract, you can immediately have a string of emails sent to them over the next few days explaining exactly what that means and what they can expect. Or when you change the loop status to sold, you can send them an awesome celebratory email and put them on a long drip campaign over the next few months and years to keep in contact and stay top of mind until their next real estate deal. Let's get started. The first thing I wanna talk about is MailChimp. That's what we're gonna connect dot loop to so that you can send these awesome emails. A couple things to know about MailChimp. There is a free plan up to 2000 contacts if you just kinda of wanna get your feet wet. But in order to do these automations, you're gonna need the standard plan, which starts at about $14.99 a month. Not bad. And then also you'll get a bunch of other options, including the ability to send Facebook ads, the ability to post on social, the ability to quickly create squeeze pages, and also send physical postcards. There's a lot of great marketing opportunity in MailChimp. It's definitely something you should check out. But above all, you're gonna be able to create really engaging, beautiful emails. If you're not a MailChimp person, this will also work with Constant Contact. The setup will just be slightly different, but it'll make sense as we go along. So what we are doing is we are gonna automate emails going out to clients when the loop changes. You do this so that your clients are comfortable, they're always in the loop. You can just send them a bunch of informative emails to keep them up to date on what to expect and exactly what is happening. These high quality emails that come from MailChimp are gonna make a long lasting impression so that these clients spread the word about who you are and what a great real estate professional you are. It'll also allow you to scale. You don't have to sit at your computer creating these emails every day. These will just go out by themselves automatically. All you have to do is create the initial campaign and then when you change the loop status, MailChimp will automatically set them up on that campaign, letting them receive those emails, get that knowledge from you automatically over the next coming days and weeks. It's also really easy to iterate and improve. You can hop into MailChimp whenever you have time and just update those emails just a little bit with what you learn and the feedback you get from clients to make sure they get the information they need. So let's set it up. First thing we're gonna do actually is go to MailChimp. So this is actually a MailChimp account we already have. We've already signed up. And I'm gonna go over here into audience. And you can see I've created an audience called real estate clients from dot loop. And I'm going to set up an API nation automation so that all my dot loop clients get put in this audience. Before I do that, I'm going to create some custom fields in MailChimp so that some of the unique information in dot loop, loop name, loop status, the role of the contact and the agent name all get attached to that contact as it comes over from dot loop into MailChimp. Let me show you how to do that. So first I'm in my audience. I'm going to go to manage audience and settings. And then you can see here's that audience name. If you want to change the name, but we're going to go down here to merge tags and audience fields. And you can see by default, you get the email address. They probably set you up with first name, last name, and a couple other things. And we want to add these fields. So I'm going to click add a field. It's a text field and it's going to add an untitled field. I'm just going to call this loop status and I can even put a merge tag in here so that if I want I can have this included automatically added to the email save changes and I'm just going to do this a few more times like I said we're going to do loop status loop name agent name and role All right, great. So we've added these four fields, loop status, loop name, agent name, and role. This is all set up. Now I'm gonna set up this API Nation integration from dot loop to MailChimp. All these contacts will be added to MailChimp. And then I can create the email campaigns that will go out to clients whenever I change our loop status. So let's go to API Nation and we can create this automation. Go to apination.com. And I'm gonna click on discover connections. 
and head over to Dotloop. You can see we have a ton of different apps here. If you see anything else you use, Dotloop, Google Calendar, Google Contacts, uh, KV Core, Mojo, any of these, just click on them. You'll see opportunities to automate and save time for you and your business. Let's click on Dotloop. And now we're gonna come down here to MailChimp. Like I said, you can also do this with Constant Contact. You would just click on Constant Contact and set it up there. But we're gonna do this with MailChimp today. And making connections at API Nation is so easy. All I have to do is click connect.loop. I'm gonna sign into .loop to make that connection. Similar thing with MailChimp. To make this MailChimp connection, I'm gonna need my API key from MailChimp. So I'm actually gonna go back to MailChimp come down here to accounts, this tiny thing in the corner, and hit account. This is kind of where the settings are. I'm gonna to go to extras, and then API keys. Here's your API keys. Uh, if you don't see any, just click create a key. I'm gonna use this top one. I'm gonna highlight it and hit control C or command C to copy it. I'm gonna go back to API Nation, hit control V or command V to paste it in there. So that's it, and now I'm just gonna name that connection. We're gonna call this my dot loop connection. This is the last step you can see. Great, so we're about to create this connection. A few questions to ask. Do I wanna send all the profiles from dot loop? Maybe I just wanna send my profile. I'm gonna send all the profiles. That way I can set this up for uh, all the contacts we have there. And then it's gonna ask me which audience I want to send it to MailChimp. You can see it's picked the top one, real estate clients from Dotloop. I have another one in there called my seller leads, um, but I use that for seller leads. So I'm gonna stick with real estate clients. Lastly, you can see it's syncing Dotloop people and Dotloop participants. If you want, you can only send participants. What we're talking about today, sending these automatic emails to clients will still work because then you're syncing participants from your loops, which is what we're looking for. If you leave this dot loop people to MailChimp subscribers on, you're also gonna get all the people, all the contacts you currently have in dot loop, which could be great, especially if you wanna start sending out a weekly newsletter. So it's up to you if you wanna build out that audience with all your contacts, go ahead and leave people. If you just wanna send these automations to dot loop participants, including your clients, go ahead and uncheck people and we'll only do participants. I'm gonna do both. Last, I'm gonna hit subscribe and start sync. For agents, it's $10 a month. If you wanna do it for your entire office or brokerage account, it's just $25 a month. Great, you can see we have dot loop participants and dot loop people. I'm actually gonna hop into this participants and I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna go over here to configuration and this way we can set up those additional fields we created in MailChimp. So let's scroll on down to mapping. A lot of it has been automatically mapped for us. So I just wanted to double check. It looks like role is coming over and mapped it to role, loop name, loop status, and agent name all found themselves. So this looks great. This is ready to go. If there's something else over here I wanna send over to MailChimp, I can go ahead and do that. Maybe I wanna sync company over here to notes. It's great to hop in here and double check though and make sure that loop name is synced up to loop name, loop status, role, all these custom fields we created in MailChimp found themselves in Dotloop. I'm gonna go ahead and resume this sync and those contacts will begin coming over into my MailChimp audience. So as these contacts are being synced into MailChimp, you can see it's gonna run every 15 minutes. So as you do your work in Dotloop, within 15 minutes of a change happening to a loop, it'll be reflected in MailChimp. So if you change a loop status in Dotloop to sold, you can have it reflected in MailChimp, and then that client, once their loop is changed to close within 15 minutes, can begin receiving your email or emails, celebrating that the transaction has finished, and then putting them on a months, year long campaign, keeping you top of mind. Let me show you what that looks like in MailChimp. So I'm gonna go into MailChimp, and you can see I'm gonna click on this automations tab here, and I'm gonna create customer journey and I call this we're going to call this transaction sold I'm going to use my real estate clients and start building and this will just walk you through that journey you want to take your client on once their transaction is marked as sold so choose a starting point contact activity 
audience field changes. We're gonna go with loop status. What should the value be? Sold. Save starting point. And now you can just go ahead and add the emails, the delays between emails. And you can do this for when the loop changes to sold. You can do it for when it changes to active, letting them know what they can expect throughout the transaction. You can also do it when the loop changes to under contract to walk them through that process and keep them informed and feeling comfortable. And that's it. Now you can have your clients automatically emailed just by changing your loop status. It's gonna save you a ton of time sending out those emails, typing them up, keeping your client informed. They're gonna feel way more comfortable. They're gonna be way more excited about the transaction, knowing what's coming down the pipeline and what to expect. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and like the video. If you have any questions or ideas, give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation, connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.